Hey everyone, it's Chris Jeffrey at Memory Express with FYI Facts. Today we're going to be focusing on mechanical keyboards. Now some of you may be asking, what is a mechanical keyboard? How do they differ from your everyday keyboard? What's up with all the different types of switches? Well, here are the facts. A mechanical keyboard uses independent switch mechanisms for its individual keys. This allows the keys to have a fast response time for more accurate and precise typing. The everyday keyboard uses several membrane layers to separate electrical contact points, which allow the keystroke to be recognized by the computer. Membrane keyboards have very little or no tactile feedback, and they usually always require a full compression of the key to get any action response, otherwise known as actuation. Membrane keyboards usually only last up to 10 million keystrokes before the contact points begin to wear out. Mechanical keyboards, on the other hand, have a variety of tactile feedback and actuation points depending on the type or types of switches the keyboard employ, and they can last up to 50 million keystrokes before the switches give out. The mechanical keyboard switches were developed by a German company called Cherry Corporation, which produced the Cherry MX lineup that we find in most keyboards, and they come in various colors which usually determine the tactile response point and the actuation point of the switch. The Cherry MX Blue and Cherry MX Green switches have tactile feedback as well as a sound when the actuation point is reached. Most blue switches will actuate at half compression, while green switches actuate with full compression. The Cherry MX Brown switch type has the same tactile feedback as the blue and green switches, but lack the click sound when the actuation point is reached. Most brown switches will actuate near half compression. The Cherry MX Black and Cherry MX Red switches have no tactile feedback and no click sound when the actuation point is reached. Most black switches will actuate at half compression like the blue switches, while red switches will actuate near half compression like the brown switches. So there you have it folks, a quick explanation on the mechanical keyboards and on a breakdown of the various switches. If you have any questions or concerns regarding mechanical keyboards, please call us at one of our locations below or visit us at the store. You can also reach us on our website at www.memoryexpress.com. This is Chris Jeffrey at FYI Facts. See you next time.